Well, a change of pace for you now. Time to bring you our Truth or Fake, which is our, our daily uh, fact-checking segment. I'm joined here in the studio by Vedika Bahal. Uh, Vedika, today you've been looking specifically at uh, claims that a BBC journalist, Jeremy Bowen, faked uh, footage from Ukraine. That was in March. What's true? Uh, what's not? Walk us through it, if you will, Vedika. Yes, Rochelle, a photo of respected BBC journalist and war correspondent Jeremy Bowen is circulating heavily on social media this week with the claim that he's been staging his reports in Ukraine. And these accusations center around uh, the presence of a civilian in the background of the photo. Let's take a look. Now, this was just one of the, the many tweets on social media here. This user goes on to say, Jeremy Bowen pretends to be on the front line whilst a woman looks on seemingly bemused. We can see that there's over 77,000 retweets and nearly 20, no, sorry, 77,000 likes and nearly over 17,000 retweets. So quite a bit of traction on social media there. Um, and this user, amongst others, was really kind of pushing the narrative that Jeremy Bowen has been caught off, off guard in this, in this shot. He's on the ground with his press vest and his helmet. And everyone was very centering on the fact that there's a woman in the background. There was a lot of talk about the shopping bag that she's holding in her hand, um, implying that she... It was on her way uh, on her way home from shopping that she's either stumbled upon him and she's curiously looking because this this isn't a very common occurrence to see filming. There was a lot of people really going with the narrative that she might be annoyed by having to wait because he's filming on her path and he's and he's blocking it. Um, however, it does need to be addressed that this still image without context doesn't prove that this coverage by the BBC was faked or is misleading. Um, what's true, however, is that this, this still image was taken from a report on the front line. Now, by doing a reverse image search, I was able to find other instances of this photo uh, on the internet, and it led me to an article in The Times. Um, I found that this article was written himself by Jeremy Bowen, recounting his experiences in covering the war. What's more interesting is it, it gave me a location. In this caption, it mentioned the, the Ukrainian city of Irpin. And by doing a bit of research on the internet, buzzwords, Jeremy Bowen, BBC Irpin, I was able to match frame, if you will, the exact uh, report that this photo came from. Here it is, published by BBC News in March. Um, and we can see at the two minute mark, the same shots of the woman uh, peering at Jeremy Bowen um, in, the, in the shrubbery there. Now, this report published on March 6th, heavily covered Russia's offensive on Irpin. Um, that was massively covered by the international press at the time. In the beginning of March, the Russian um, army bombarded the city of Irpin, causing thousands of civilians to flee for their lives. One of the major events at the time was a key bridge in Irpin was destroyed by Ukrainian forces in an attempt to slow down the Russian offensive um, and stop them from seizing the city and slow, slow them down from seizing the city. Um, and it was later seen as a symbol of Ukrainian resistance. Jeremy Bowen even says in this report, civilians are escaping what's left of a bridge. And what's interesting is that we can actually see that here in this screenshot. This is what he's referring to, what's left of the bridge. And if we really want to fact check that there, we can actually compare it to some of our own coverage here at France 24. This is, uh, compared, this is the same screenshot from, from Bowen's report to ours from our reporters on the ground, and we can see the markers um, matching the location to Irpin um, and the bridge. Other screenshots from that same YouTube report, um, just later on in the, in the video, uh, Jeremy Bowen and his cameramen filmed other civilians fleeing for their lives. We can see them carrying their luggage, their backpacks, and it's very possible it's in a similar location um, to the one that he's in. We can see the shrubbery there. And overall, this screenshot alone is very misleading. The full report, and by watching the full report, that is what makes it clear to us that he, he was indeed in a war zone. And it's very likely that this civilian in the background was also fleeing up in herself. You know, it might look like a shopping bag if you put it in a still image, but from seeing the rest of the report, you know, we can see people with their rucksacks, their baggage, whatever they can really get their hands on. And it's very likely that she might have been doing the same. Now, Jeremy Bowen himself addressed these claims on Twitter just yesterday. This is what he posted. He screenshotted that same exact tweet that we looked at earlier. He called the tweet malicious um, and he said the allegations are utterly false. Um, he then went on to say he's happy to take criticism himself and to be insulted. But he said, please don't insult the thousands of civilians fleeing up in um, from Kiev from Russian shelling and war crimes. So he himself has rejected these claims as well, Rochelle. All right, Vedika, thank you very much from our Truth or uh, Fake team for enlightening us uh, there. Vedika, thanks.